if it ends up fizzling out and nothing happens then, I'm just going to see that. Yeah, and they're going to pay for flights and get all that. But it's just like, as far as it's You'll be in the back of the bus. Sound? One more time, Dad. Gooey. Does that got sound? Yes. Cool. So feel free to uh, give any commentary, Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
you ever want to make your own pizza, <laughs> you just, just watch the video. That's right, Dad. <laughs> it is serving my purpose as well as yours. <laughs> well, now you've got a big bowl I gave you, like this. But you're not going to make five pounds of pizza. No, 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 no. Well, if you have friends over. Exactly. Yeah. It would be great. In fact, we went to a Goodwill the other one day, and we found a couple of more, and we got it for less than ten bucks. Oh, great! That's yeah, good. I got like four sets of them now. Different more sizes. More is better. I yeah. have, you know, all those little tin cups that I have over there. The little tin cups to put the ingredients in. I must have ten or twelve of those. Then I have eight or ten sorted sizes this size. I wouldn't be able to do. What I do in the kitchen without it, I'd have to be washing, cleaning, and putting it elsewhere. Okay, now we're trying to start to feel good here. It's coming alive. <laughs> so, what are the ingredients in that, Dad? Flour? Salt, yeast, and water. Simple. So one pound of flour is about, well, I don't know, about three cups of three cups of flour for a few minutes, and you see it's getting sticky. Add a little bit of flour to it, smooth it off. So you can feel it when it's starting to get really when it's starting to get uh, where you want it. It's got a little sil a silky smooth finish to it. After you've done it a few times, you'll get you'll get the knack of it and feel how how much it needs to be needed to finish it. I find if you over knead it, especially for pizza dough, the dough gets too tough. You've worked uh, too much gluten into it, too elastic. Okay, we're gonna call that good. We're gonna let it rise. I'm gonna clean this off. A little olive oil in the bottom of this, just to keep the dough from sticking to the sides. Get it in there and kind of mush it around and get the olive oil on all the surfaces. And we're just going to let it sit for a few minutes. Let it rise. Put a towel over the top of it. Kind of set it in a warm, warm place. Uh, unlike, unlike uh, uh, bread that they say you have to let it rise and punch down a couple of times, you really don't even need to let this rise at all. You can, I can start rolling out a pizza immediately, but I want to let it rise one time, then we'll punch it down and start making pizzas. It's going to rise. <laughs> I'll let it sit for a while. Then we'll, all time because he went all of the we'll have a pizza out by about five. Oh, wow. The first piece. So tell me, Dad, about your special sauce here. The special sauce. Tomatoes, tomato sauce, tomato paste. Uh, onions, a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper, and olive oil, and lots of dried oregano. Mm. Oregano is the flavor that you get out of this. And so you won't have a bunch of chunks, unless you like chunks, of onion or garlic in there. I throw uh, I throw some of the sauce and the onions and garlic together in a blender and smooth it out. And that's just for, that's just the way I like it. But you can use it, you can make it all chunky if you want. Or it can be a lot looser. I like mine to be fairly thick so I add more uh, tomato paste to thicken it. Awesome. Because this is all the stuff that we're going to put on the pizza. we got onions. Green peppers and uh, black olives, I'll mix them all together. Sausage, 
uh, a little bit of uh, Parmesan and uh, cheddar cheese and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there because this is what's going to go on top. And this is all sliced uh, mozzarella. But I've used the other cheeses just for a little bit of added flavor. I don't use much of it. Cheddar doesn't sound like it's supposed to go on a pizza, but it, you can. <laughs> doesn't hurt it. The marinated uh, mushrooms, just a little vinegar and oil, and oregano. I'll throw that on top just for extra flavor. And pepperoni, sliced pepperoni. And then I made, this is for a Hawaiian pizza, and I make that one last. Okay. So here we go. Knife. See, it's coming out of its socks here, man. Take enough for. about one pizza. Hey, look at all the holes that's already developing in here. Hey, look at that. Yeah. yeah. It's really working. Yeah, that's why I've been trying to get a little small. Nice and stick pizza sauce at the time. So I made a real quick pizza sauce. Made a real quick dough and had a few things in the, in the refrigerator. And I had it out of the oven and on my table in an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> That's from scratch. <laughs> you gonna run out of minutes? No. Oh, okay. We're not gonna miss this anchovy part. Because we're no one you talking all the time. Uh, they're really, really cured. He is a good little bud. Are we going to have any guests tonight, or just us, Dad? It's going to be us, yeah. Okay. You'll have a lot to take home with you. To share with your friends. Yes, sir. Olive oil on the side? Yeah, it's not necessary. It's just something I do. Oh, uh, don't tell anybody who doesn't like anchovies this, but when you make your sauce, take the juice or the oil from the anchovies, Fabulous idea. Yeah, good. Uh, I like I, that. Gail doesn't know a thing about this, <laughs> but don't tell her. If she sees an ancho a stray anchovy, she'll gag. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, anchovy, oh good. You can tell them what, what Ron and um, Dad are doing. They're getting kicked out of that. <clears throat> stuff on this one. 
Those are cooked sausages, Dad? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just bulk sausage. Mm -hmm. This particular brand is called New York Style, okay. and it's uh, it's uh, it's real good. Yeah, you can buy it in just about any grocery store. Mm -hmm. They make a hot Italian sausage also. I prefer the mild. All right. Uh, oh, I forgot to throw my cheese on. That's all right. Just do it this way. Okay. Anchovies. Mm -hmm. Can I anchovies for each pizza then? Oh, depends on how salty you want it. I'm going to use, or at least, well, of course, can. I've got it here. Because the last pizza I make tonight is going to be just the kitchen sink, but it's going to have anchovies on it. So, with a, usually run out of one ingredient or another as you go go along. Okay, that's good. Mm. Okay. I'm going to do a couple of mushrooms on here for flavor. Let me get this down and look at the other pizza. See how it's doing. Cheese. Mozzarella. This is mozzarella. You can. There's other cheeses you can use. You can use provolone. Uh, like I say, I used. You saw what I did. I used a little bit of Parmesan. Actually, it's Romano. But a little bit of cheddar. And you can make all cheese pizza if you just want to. Oh yeah. Well you can make any kind of pizza, you know that, you know. My grandmother's pizza consisted pretty much mainly of uh, sausage or pepperoni and anchovies. My grandma liked anchovies. My dad liked anchovies. I like anchovies. All right. Looks delicious. It does, doesn't it? Fun. And how many minutes? How long did it take me to put this together? No, oh, in the oven. Oh, 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah. At uh, 500? At 500, as hot as you can get it, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we'll let that sit for a sec. Getting there. Looking good. You want to take a look at that? Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. It smells good too. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's sizzling. Oh, the tiki god. The, the tiki god of pizza. I forgot. <laughs> he watches over all food I prepare. <laughs> I have uh, an hour and a half. An hour and a half? 
So it was crazy. So we touched base before that, you know, that or whatever.